Good evening. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between sanity and stupidity, between logical and loony, and it lies between the pit of a man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Fraudator Zone. In this episode, a sovereign citizen is pulled over for speeding with his mother in the car, and we get quite an education. Speed limit's only 50, and I had you at 62. 62? I was doing like... All right, I'm not going to argue with you, but I mean, I wasn't going... I know I wasn't speeding, but... You yeah, your... we were talking about it coming down yeah. the road. Because people, no we were just talking about normally us. people are flying like 80 down this road every day. Well, if you were just talking about how others are speeding, that surely means you are not. I'm totally convinced. And we were talking about how we're people are always flying around. past us and stuff. That's originally why I looked back because... I saw somebody riding my butt and I was just like, pass me, dude. Like, why? And then the person in front of me was like. I saw that the other van had passed you back at the light. That's what but... I was saying. That's why I was like, just keep passing me. Because all day, people, because I'm used to, so used to just people riding my butt past me, doing like 80 down this road. But we were just going to the church to grab some food. Now, why didn't you say that before? Going to the church to grab some food? Well, if that doesn't scream not speeding, then nothing does. By the way, you might want to go to the church to grab some prayers next time. I'm guessing by the end of this encounter, you're going to need some. Like, I don't even, uh, the St. James Saint Church James. right there on, um, St. Paul or whatever. Two. Yeah, St. Okay. So, so what was going on with your license? Oh, I just don't have one. You just don't have one? Well, at least he's honest. Yeah, like I never signed up with the DMV to get one, like, you know, because, like, it's, no, you just don't, you know, if you sign up with it, then, you, you know, you got to, like, play by their rules and do all that stuff. If you never sign up for it, you know, you're allowed to just, like, you know, use the road to run errands and stuff. I mean, um, that's, that's, that's not how it works. Yeah, it is but. how, it is, it is exactly how it works, but, um. You should carry that court paper with you. Yeah. Do you have any ID on you? I do have an ID, yeah. Okay. Can I get that from you? Yeah. But, I mean, I've gone to court for this several times, like, being pulled over and not having a license and stuff, and I've beaten it in court multiple times. I have documents I can show you. Well, if that's the case, bring your court documents and go fight this in court. You know, judges need a good laugh just as much as officers do. The Supreme Court has ruled over and over and over again you. that you actually don't need a license to drive. It's not a privilege. It's a right that every citizen has. It's when you sign up for the MVA, you're waiving that right and asking to be placed under their jurisdiction. I don't have a contract with the MVA, so okay, I don't well, have to carry Maryland a license. Says, no, it's not Maryland. All right, well, I'm not going to argue Can you call it. your supervisor out here? Because I've dealt with this in Maryland all the time. I hope he does get the supervisor. I mean, supervisors need a good laugh, too. Well, I've been pulled over by going. other Anne Arundel County police officers. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah. What's going to happen is I'm going to call a supervisor, and they're going to say, if you want to talk to them, you can call the station. I can give you the phone number of the station that you can talk to a supervisor. Driving without a license is 60 days in jail up to a $500 fine. But That's but if you have you a contract at, with the MVA. I live right contract. here on Jewel Road. I'm like 228 Jewel? Yeah, I'm yeah. like 10 okay. feet from my house. Well, alrighty then. That makes this so easy to solve. Sure, you can travel home. Just get out and walk the 10 feet home. Problem solved. License, ma'am? I do. Yeah, can and she's, she's not driving because she's been like, you know, under, she has a cane and she's disabled and her medicine's been making her shaky lately. And I was just running her to the church to get food because we're poor and we don't have a jobs to go to. So we were literally just going to get food from the church and going right back home. Like I was, you know. Miss Eversfield, are you going to be able to drive out of here? I can drive out. Okay. I can drive, I just can't stand. 
Okay, because if you're not able to drive, you guys are going to have to call somebody because Michael's not going to be able to drive out of here without a license. So Can I get you your information? Because I'm going sure. to file a complaint against Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So because I'll, I'll I can put... show you the documents on my phone right now. I've literally been to court for this in Anne Arundel County and in Baltimore County, and they have dismissed it every single time. Okay. You well, need to be educated counties. on... No, this is Anne Arundel County. We're in Anne Arundel County right now. We are in Anne Arundel County. Yes, we are. And I've been to court for this in Anne Arundel County, and they dismissed it because you do not need a driver's license to travel on the public roadway in your personal property. Yes, you are absolutely correct. You do not need a license to walk down the roadway in your shoes. You just need some common sense to watch out for cars. So maybe you're better off just driving and getting tickets. I can show you the Supreme Court right, cases. Well, we're not going to argue about this. No, you need to be on educated on this. So, everybody, I don't know what this guy's name was, but it's Corporal something or other saying that I can't drive back to my house. Oh, is it on the... It's on the... It's on... Oh, it was on the wrong-facing camera side the whole time. Well, that's okay. I got the audio of it all. Okay, he's got my registration, so he can't go. And he told me I was going to have to drive home, so... That's fine. He'll give me a ticket for operating a vehicle without a license and we'll go to court and it'll get dismissed. But the point is, is he's now making a disabled person drive after I told him that you were already under medication to, to, to that you couldn't drive. So we'll switch vehicle positions under threat of arrest. I'm switching sides with her. No, stay in the car right now. I'm I didn't tell you to get out. You stay said to car. switch sides with I her didn't so say she that. could drive. You did. I said if she's got a valid license, she, she can does. drive. Stay in the car. Uh, am I being detained? Stay in the car. Am I being detained? You're being detained on a traffic stop right now. Okay. Stay in the car. That's all I wanted to know. So I'm being detained for a traffic stop now. And he won't let my mother now switch vehicles. Do you have Facebook? Nice. Get on Facebook Live. Go on Facebook Live. Just I don't know how to do that. Give me your phone. If you thought this video was at all entertaining in any way at this point, you're in for a real treat because now the South Sit and his mommy try to get on Facebook Live. I guess he just unlock it. Go to Facebook and go live. Go live. And now, uh, and tell them, say we're being stopped. We've been stopped. Hold on, not yet. Let me see. Starting live video. Okay, we're waiting for it to start. So now we're waiting for, because we're going to go live here, because now it looks like he's probably going to try to arrest me, which is great, because I'm on probation. So that's going to violate my probation. My, my, the plot like my gravy thicken. <laughs> It, it will it be soon. Video, but it hasn't started yet. Oh, tap. No, see. no, no. That's to stop it. It's starting the live video. Don't press that or it'll stop it. But it says tap to. No, no. That was the thing to start. To start it. Just, just leave it alone. Okay, just, just leave it alone. But so now he's probably. That's what I'm saying. Just, just. And I want to wait for yours to start so that way yeah, I can pull up the documents on my phone to show him. Because mm -hmm. this is exactly what it's happens to fun. people. They get combative uh -huh. because they think that they know everything because they've been taught the wrong things. Right. And like I'm, I'm literally taking my disabled mother, you know, to, to the church to get food. And he's like, you know, being Mr. Hardass about it. I'm a disabled my, vet. Um, excuse me. My own um, um, Here, look. Well, if he tries to arrest me, this is already recording. Don't touch anything on right. it. 
And it's on the wrong facing camera. I mean, it's on the back facing camera. Yeah. So, like. I'm trying to get it to turn around. You shouldn't have fallen. You should have just let him do I did. I. You should have just let him do what he was going to do. Well, I tried to. Yeah, but you kept saying, you have to be educated. Well, okay, maybe you're right. I shouldn't have been... But, I mean, I'm sorry that I get passionate about this, these things because he is wrong. Well, and I'm not... I'm not mean... I'll apologize and just say I'm not trying to be argumentative with him. But, like, I've gone through this so many times. I know that. But... What are you looking for? You gave him your license and registration. I know. That's not what I was looking for. And I was going like 52. And he even said he saw me let the other van pass me. Stop pressing. I didn't touch it. I'm sorry. It said check your connection and try again. I feel like they have like a block. Like a like a Wi-Fi block in their vehicles, so that like people can't go on Facebook Live and start streaming stuff. Nice. You know what? Here, I'm yeah. just gonna start videoing it. How do you get this to go away? Just start. Just stop. 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 I got it. I got it. Oh! Tommy does not like the way you treat me. Well, I don't like the way you treat me. I don't like the way you treat me. How do you get it to do the front-facing camera? Turn it around. Close it, will it? Okay, that's what I want. Because I want it to record the inside of the car. So that way, if he comes and tries to like pull me out of the car and shit. So, anyway, we're being stopped here by this trooper. We went to go get groceries. From the house to the church, you know, it's just a couple from miles, and we're on our way back from the church getting groceries, and I'm driving without a license, because, you know, as far as I know and have been told, the Supreme Court said that it's okay to drive without a license, um, and, uh, you know, I've been to court for it a few times, and they've always dismissed it, and the trooper pulled me over, and I told him all that, and, um... He's, you know, threatened to arrest, say it's 60 days in jail. And I said, well, you know, it's not, you know, whatever. And he, we got a little argument. Um, and then he went back to his vehicle. And so we went to switch drivers and he said to get back in the vehicle. And he got out and, you know, got his hand on his gun and was yelling at me to get back in the vehicle and stuff. And I told him that we were just switching vehicles switching places so we can drive the like half a mile back to the house we're like one you know we're literally like a half a mile from the house now so apparently we've all been calculating math wrong all this time we just learned that 10 feet equals half a mile wow we should all pick up the new sovereign citizen math for dummies book to learn the right way to be calculating math problems and you know he's being super about letting Letting us drive the half a mile back to the house because I don't have a license, you know I don't have a have a contract with the MVA and as far as I'm as far as I've been educated The Supreme Court has said, you know as long as you don't sign and waive that right away under the Fourth Amendment from you know I have the freedom to travel uh, in my in my vehicle in a you know this isn't my vehicle it's my mother's private vehicle but you know i'm driving her because for the past week or so she's been um not feeling good and having dizzy spells and um not walking very well and stuff so 
we went to the food distribution to go get food this morning. Um, and so, you know, we're coming back from that and I was just driving her, you know, for that reason. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, did this stop? Seriously, if you close this, it, you close it. I thought it, it was stops. still recording. No, it stops when you close it. it. I thought that's what you said to put it on the front video to close it. No, I didn't say that. <sighs> okay, all right. Well, so I guess I just got to turn it around and do all that again. Okay, well, the audio on my camera, I guess, still picked all that up. Ooh, okay. But to explain it. Oh, so here's another trooper. Here he comes. All right, well, here, my phone's videoing, so. I'm gonna apologize. Hey, man, I wasn't really trying to get, you know, confrontational with you. I've just been through this a bunch of times already, and as far as I've been educated, what I'm doing, you know, isn't wrong, so. I mean, well, it is wrong, because in the United States, in order to drive, it is a privilege to drive, and actually, your license in the state of Maryland it's suspended. Well, I it's expired. I and I never went down and renewed it. Under I did the research on my license and the last when I was still holding a valid license, mm -hmm. it had been suspended. And then it expired like the card I had said that my license expired like a, I don't even know, a long time ago. Like at least year, at least 2 years ago, I know. And I never went and renewed it. And then I was, you know, educated that, um, you know, driving without a license is only um, a, a, a crime, quote unquote, if you have a contract with the MVA and then you do something to, you know, violate that contract, then they can suspend your license. And then if you, you know, get caught driving, then it's like you're doing something you know, to against something that you promised you wouldn't do. But I never signed that contract. I never promised the MVA. But see, that's that's where our education differs. Because I've seen documents and I've talked to lawyers and I've been to court that, and they've all said that the Supreme Court says that driving is not a privilege that can be revoked. It is a right under the Fourth Amendment. I don't know what lawyers you've been talking to, but if I were you, I'd not let them anywhere near me when fighting this in court. Under your, under the Constitution of Liberty, you have the right to move about in your private vehicle conducting personal business. All right, so we're not going to argue this roadside, but here's what I'm going to tell you. Can you just let me go home and I won't, like... <laughs> Look, I could take you out of the car right now, put you in handcuffs, and arrest you for driving on a suspended license, okay? I understand that you're talking... All these privileges, Fourth Amendment, sovereign citizen. I'm not whatever. a sovereign citizen. Right, well, I, that has nothing to do with sovereign me, citizen. Everything I'm that following you're your me is laws what? by you're doing. You're not this. following. Well, you're <laughs> driving along the roadway. You were speeding. You have a suspended license. You're not. The video suddenly ended there. But wait, there's more. Here he is giving us an education on what happened. So grab your popcorn now. You ready? Okay, I'm going to speed this up a little bit so it goes a little faster. All right, so I just got pulled over driving my mom home from picking up food from the food giveaway at the local church. It's like less than five miles away. On the way home, he got pulled over for allegedly speeding. Um, and hilarity ensued. I want to make this video while it's fresh in my mind. The cop uh, let me go, but said I was driving on a suspended license, even though my license has been expired for quite some time. He said he could pull me out of the vehicle and arrest me, um, but he eventually let me go. Uh, gave me a ticket for driving a motor vehicle on the highway or public use property on suspended license. Driving, uh, but I don't have a license. It's not suspended. It's expired. Driving while license suspended. Fail to attend dip. I don't know what that is, but again, my license isn't suspended. It's expired. Driving attempted to drive motor vehicle on highway without required license and authorization. Again, Fourth Amendment, you know, says that I don't have to have a license to drive and I don't have a contract with the MVA currently. Uh, it has expired. But whenever they pull me over, they like to say that it's suspended, uh, you know, because it had gotten suspended and then it expired. But I have to, it has to be suspended for them to give me these tickets, you know. Um, if it's expired, they couldn't give me the tickets. But, you know, that's why they always say it's, it's suspended, even though it has long since expired. Um, I think my Virginia license expired in 2013. So my Maryland license, I know, can't be valid. Um, 
still. It, it's had to have expired by now. Um, but I'll, I'll try to get a document to, to make sure of that. Uh, and then doing a forbidden act, failing to perform required act permitting to driver's license. Um, I don't even know what that means. I guess not getting it unsuspended when it had gotten suspended. They're saying I failed to perform the act to get my license reinstated. But, you know, you don't need a license to drive. So, you know, and of course they let me go because I knew my rights. And they knew that I knew my rights um, by the education bomb that I dropped on them. So, you know, he didn't pull me out of the vehicle and arrest me or do any of that stuff. Um, you know, they always like to make it appear like they're giving you you know, a, a, a favor, like they're doing something for you, you know, but he knew that if he pulled me out of the car and all that stuff, because I told him that I was going to file a complaint and follow through with action, um, so he knows that, you know, that would have been an extreme violation of my rights, um, and, you know, they didn't want to mess with that educated person on that, you know, so they try to give you these tickets, you know, it's, it's whatever, you know, uh, I've been to, I, and I've been to court for a few of these charges before, um, and they've been dismissed, or not even brought up, like they were, you know, like, uh, also charges given to me when I got pulled over for something else, and they said the same thing, like, oh, your license is suspended, and I'm like, no, it's expired, I don't have a license, blah, 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 and they do the same thing, you know, they, they let me go and pretend like they're doing me a favor, like, oh, we'll let you go today, you know, but go straight home, we won't arrest you now, um, so they give you these tickets along with whatever it was they pulled me over for, I think last time it was for my plate, uh, because I didn't have a plate, um, you know, and that all got dismissed, uh, so, you know, whatever, um, if anybody can help me out with these things, uh, you know, because I'd like to follow through with this stuff, you know, auditing the police, for, you know, freedom to travel, whatever, all that stuff, you know, this, uh, I finally got one on tape, a good one, you know, I think, I think it's a good one, um, I didn't get arrested, uh, I stayed calm, um, you know, I, I, uh, uh, disseminated the information that I have learned, um, uh, expressed my, um, you know, discontent or not, or whatever with, uh, you know, why I felt that it was necessary, whatever, and they listened to me, I will give the credit to them, you know, they didn't, he didn't seem like he was super, super aggressive, I mean, you know, uh, you know, I've seen these videos go a lot worse, you know, everybody says they want to see the video of what happens next and all that stuff, so, you know, this is the one y'all been waiting for, I guess, so if y'all can help me, you know, with some kind of follow through with this, uh, you know, I feel like this could be a good one to educate, uh, you know, the police department and everybody. And if I'm wrong, to educate, uh, me and the rest of the public about, about these things. Cause he said now I'll be getting a court date to go, to go to court, you know, uh, for this, for this stuff. And let's, let's put a nail in the coffin, you know? Let's put the nail in the coffin. See what the judge has to say about it. Cause other judges have, dismissed it, you know, or not even brought it up when I went to court for other charges, then these charges were included, they, you know, um, I'll try to find the paperwork from that, I saw one the other day, uh, I'll see if I can find some other ones, where, you know, they didn't even bring it up, like, recently, I'm on probation now, because I hit a patch of gravel, and slid off the road and got a concussion, um, and they gave me a field sobriety test, and obviously I know my rights, I should have contested that and, and, and recorded it and everything, but I had just suffered a concussion, I was unconscious for five minutes, the lady that called the ambulance said she thought I was dead, um, but I also got uh, some of these same charges, I think, driving without a license, failure to show a license, and stuff like that, and, um, you know, I'm on probation before judgment for the DUI, which I should have fought it, I know, I, sh I, I feel like I really could have beat it, but, the you know, they just, they got to me. You know, it's it's a lot harder when you're going into court for these things by yourself. So if y'all can help me with this in any way, please, please, help your brother out. Well, that was quite the education. The only question I have now is how he was able to say all that with a straight face. Because I know you were laughing as much as I was. So now that we got a good laugh, it's time for some cuteness. So sit back and relax while I present to you...